Hi, this is Toby Tobias, and this is the Unwanted Family Podcast.
Shut up. 
you testing. <laughs> testing, testing. <laughs> In the unwanted basement, we've got Toby Tobias. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Just, uh, just here, just checking. Uh, I think I might have to turn it up a bit. Well, so, up there, 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 there you go. There, yeah, like that. I think we're good. Yep. Yeah. Cool. It's all raw. <laughs> raw in the basement. So, I mean, do you want to uh, have a little chat about some of those rare nuggets that you've been selecting so far? Um, what you got? Um, well, the first one was material. Started with material. Uh, big up to Andy, AKB, who put me onto this album. Who's who, who's Andy then? Who's Andy? Yeah, who's, who, Andy's a dude I used to live with oh, I see. Um, years ago, and uh, he's into his electro like right. me. Well, we were both into old school electro. And Material is um, a producer of from that era, um, Celluloid Records and stuff. But um, yeah, this is Celluloid. No, it's not. It's Electra. But anyway, is this Andy that you used to uh, break dance with? No, he's not. He's from he's from another generation. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's from the sort of last. I was at art college with kind of his best mate and then we ended up living together and okay. um, we, he, we went, started making music together. Anyway, Andy, if you're listening, all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and, Big uh, up Andy. Yeah, he, I hope I introduce him to some nice tunes as well because we definitely, you know, used to go Sweet. share some bargain basements, bargain bin shopping yeah. in charity shops together. Knocking off that dust. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, that was the first one, and then the second one, I'm trying to remember now, uh, was... What we got? What we got? The second one was... Um, was any of these? It was... Um, was it that one? Nunk. Warp 9. Um, oh, oh, no, I know. I can remember now. It was a CD. It was a CD, ah, yes. yeah. Jamaica. Jamaica. Yes, Jamaica Running by The Pool, which is just something that I've acquired recently, but it's an old tune that's a bit of a Balearic classic. Well, yeah. And um, I've been after it for ages. It's, I found it on a compilation. Um, it was on, released on Compost. Um, and it's just a, it's a great little Balearic classic. So, um, that, and then after that, it was Warp 9. And I, let's talk about, that? I'll talk about that record after I've yeah. slipped on the next one, because okay. this one's running out. Take it through, man.
yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was Jay Greenspan on Geolong Records, which is um, that's a Caribou's label. So obviously we've missed a few out, but I'll fill you in on them in a minute. Just gonna um, play the next track. So that was that, and then the next one's Actress Hazy Bill. Nice. Um, and, um, yeah, so these are these last those two are sort of something that's really inspiring yeah. to me. Uh, right, uh, uh, Caribou is probably one of the most inspiring act, uh, artists that have sort of hit house music. I think recent yeah. in the recent year or two, and um, his labels. Yeah, he's just quality. Everything he does is quality. Label this label's quality, the Daphne productions and caribou stuff. He seems like a e- even as a person, he seems like a real nice yeah. character. A nice yeah, I mean, the, the live I saw him live at Glastonbury as well, and that was that was pretty special. Um, I like the way they perform as well when in the band, yeah, but the way they all face each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, social, social, yeah. little social circle, yeah, that's quite nice. But uh, yeah, actress as well as someone who, um. Who I um, just absolutely love, um, just sort of his style, the take, his take on sort of house music again, really. Is this someone? Sort of have you had the chance to techno, meet? Techno, more or? more techno, techno, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You know what I mean? I think it's not so much house, more techno. Yeah. But um, is it someone what? Is it is it someone that you've had the chance to meet or? Oh no, no, not at all, not at all. But do you think you there'd know. ever be any chance that you could maybe hook up with him uh, in that studio? God knows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't something know. Like, I just, something I just, like that could you put forward? Uh, you know, could you just email him and be like, hey, I don't know. I, I can, think, I can guess he's probably not the sort of guy who wants to do that. I think right. he's probably his own man. It is. But yeah, um, fair. I just, uh, I'll just listen to his tunes and, and play his stuff and, and uh, get inspired yeah, by totally. his thing. So, uh, yeah, this one's Hazy Bill. It's like on, on the early, one of his early albums. So, uh, that's this one. Oh, 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 
So that's um, Francois K. Ah. Early, early FK EP yeah, nice. from 94 or something. And uh, that's on Ministry. Yeah, that was a, uh, that was a, uh, yeah, actually I used to play the other side, both tracks of that, the other side, lots. No, yeah. when I used to start are DJing, yeah. Are those grooves pretty well? But now the other two, the other side sounds more, sort of makes sense, you know what I mean? Right, okay, yeah. Uh, that one, Edge of Time, I think. That one, make, yeah, that one just sounds really, Good now. Yeah, it's, it's a big shout. A shout out to uh, Ben Gatto Fritto because he played it and I heard it. I was like, whoa, what's this? And he told me, I was like, oh, I've got this. <laughs> I dug it out. <laughs> so um, I'll just uh, quickly put this next track in. And then uh, back to. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, dedicated to Earl Gateshead. That's he, Earl. Sh- he should have been here, but well, you should have been here <laughs> Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, thought, I thought I'd bring this one on for heart, uh, sort of, in respect to him. Nice. Bit of the, the old um, scar. He's, he's got a lot to make up for. Now. He, he didn't bring him one for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, I can't believe that. I know. Well, well, we'll have a word on Saturday. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and after this. I'm going to put on, um, it's the time, it's self-promotion time. Yeah, let's uh, do it. I'm going to put on my um, my next one that's going to be on more music. 
um, just coming out at the end of the month, um, called Over Here, and it's um, it's like part of a four-track EP with Midland and um, uh, Death from the Balcony and Mark Romboy. So it's a good, strong EP actually. Yeah, All the other tracks are good. So I'm gonna put that one. I'm just gonna fade it in at the end here. Is that gonna be a? We're just gonna talk over the the general mix. So yeah, I can yeah, yeah. <laughs> is is that gonna be a a vinyl release uh, and a digital release? Um, yes, it is. Yes, yes. It's the the uh, out. It's gonna be a compilation, and there's gonna be four tracks, the vinyl sampler. It's just um, it's gonna be good. Perfect.
vocal. Yeah, no, the vocal on that, that vocal, uh, I thought I'd let you see a little secret. It um, came from a VHS from a, no, actually, I can't tell you that. I can't say where it came from. Must be happy with that, man. Yeah, I am. Sounds really fresh. Nice one, man. Thanks. I right, enjoyed that a lot. Good. Yeah, I can, see, I can see why they chose, why they picked. Cool. Definitely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, testing it out on Saturday night. So, oh, right. Is that going to be its first air? air? Yeah, yeah, I haven't actually played it. Uh, yeah, I think it's been played a couple of times, but um, not since it's been mastered. Right, okay, so you've been testing. Yeah, it's been mastered now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, okay. It's just sound a bit better and bigger. So, and will you be playing that on a uh, vinyl on? Oh, I haven't Saturday? got the vinyl yet. No. Oh, I see. But, but um, <laughs> no, we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we're looking forward to having you down on Saturday, man. Cool. Yeah. yeah it's gonna be some. Yeah, it's gonna be. I think the yeah, idea of having. You can't beat the old horse of horse horse and the groma. Horse doom. Horse and the groom. <laughs> <Doom. laughs> um. But yeah, no, it should be fun. It's a good, it's a good place for um, a proper little um, sort of like house party. But that's yeah, party isn't it? I, I think that's that's how it is, isn't it? It's like a pub, yeah. pub club house party. It's yeah. Well, it's not. Well, it's quite a sweat box, is what it can. Yeah, yeah, turn yeah. Turn into quite the box. So I, I mean, yeah. Uh, well, I think the people need to know a little bit about What's all those questions you got there. These are these are my oh, right. my little my little notes. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a notepad. <laughs> well, just just some things that I thought we should probably cover. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, we get lost in the mix sometimes. Yeah. These. Unfortunately, we're going to have to talk all the way through this Glen Underground record, which is a real shame because it's so good. Maybe give him a little bit of it. Yeah. Well. There you go. Yeah. 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 The best bits uh, about three quarters of the way through. So okay, let's talk we'll, quick then. Yeah. Where are you from? Um, I'm from um, the Shires. <laughs> 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 um, initially, yeah, from from the Hampshire Surrey border, uh, which is. Apparently, where you're from? Yeah. Well, this is, this is a connection. Well, yeah. all, all, all the guys from Unwanted, we're all from Guildford Way. So. Yeah, I'm from um, Fleet initially, um, via Scotland, where I was born. But anyway. Right. Okay. Um, it's all right. That's it's, a, it's only the pug. Oh yeah, <laughs> scratching above my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah. So I moved there, and then basically moved to London uh, well so yeah that's where I started going to raves and DJing and stuff and going to art college and um, break dancing when I was 11 and you know yeah all that kind of stuff is that um, where it's quite definitely a rich rich musical sort of inf influence there you know everywhere I went to college art college and I went to college in Basingstoke where I met some ravers and got into going to raves yeah um, and um when it, in what year that was 1990 right okay yeah that was 1990 so did you have long you can hair yes yes i did you did <laughs> of course <laughs> curtains all yeah. the way down to there yeah it was curly and everything oh, and the stripy vertical tops was it um, um what they're like timberland boots 
Um, was it bad no, boots? No, no. I jeans? had uh, Travel Fox boots. Travel Fox. Oh, okay. Yeah. Travel Fox. Um, I did have one of those raver hats. The ones that oh, come over there like the Stone Roses. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, um, <coughs> wait, I think there's good bits coming up. I'm just going to have to play this bit. Let it go. the cherubims that's basically i was talking about the genius of glenn underground because he's kind of like he nails it <laughs> quite often big time you know it's just like wow yeah, it's pretty big isn't it just in all fairness that just nails it but, um yeah what you said hey, well you you were saying uh you played that out in san francisco recently yes i was saying um i played honey sound system um yeah. which was the probably the best um, the best party I played on the tour I mean I had a great time all the parties were great but the honey one was um, just you know it's on a Sunday and people are coming out to come out on a Sunday then they're, they're obviously real lovers yeah. of the music you know um, and it was just I was enjoying the set so much that you know when you're enjoying it you can take risks and yeah. I just just heard this through in the headphones. I've never played that side. I usually play the other side, which is Boo Williams. And um, I just heard it. I thought, oh, God, that sounds pretty. I really want to hear that. Um, so I'm just going to play you it. Just went for and, uh, you know, you don't often do that just because you, it could be that. But I just, uh, it just went down amazingly well. It just, it just sounded beautiful. That's awesome. And it's a really nice feeling yeah. to be able to sort of just hear something for the first time in a packed dance floor <laughs> yeah that's nice you must have surprised yeah. yourself nice. um but yeah loads of people were going up going what was that tune as well so uh, but yeah i played a couple of my tunes there as well and i had really nice reactions so just generally it was i got a, oh yeah i got a tip as well a tip yeah apparently um, the first ever person to get a tip at honey sound system i got a 20 dollar tip from a gurning just from a dyke. <laughs> <laughs> so, brilliant. Uh, I was going to say, is that from a punter? But a gurning dyke. Yeah, she was in a good in a good place. Yeah. And I, yep. Yeah, I, <laughs> she gave, she said, get a glass, and I put, a, I d she put some money, and I thought it was a dollar. I just thought it was a dollar. At the end of the night, I checked. I was like twenty dollars. Wow. <laughs> That's good. 
Yeah, this is a uh, Claro Intellecto. Anyway, right. yeah, the Claro Intellecto. No, he's um. You're educating me. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit of a dude from England. Sweet. Somewhere in England, I think he's up north, up north somewhere. But I, I do know that he did stuff on AI Records because I. Uh, this is a label that was based in London, and I actually, when I first started making music, I was mates with all those guys. Yeah. And I sort of was making music for the label, but they were a bit too weird for me. In their what label. Sense? Oh, what their sound? Yeah, they their were sound. To push. So I just sort of let them do their thing. But then they yeah. signed this dude, Clara Intellecto, and I was like, oh, hell with me. That's more <laughs> my, that's more <laughs> my bag. What are you doing? But by the point, I, at that point, I was kind of out of the loop. <clears throat> Huh. But, um, yeah, I um, think this, guy, nice. this guy's wicked, so uh, it's pretty yeah. fun. Sweet.
by Mr. Machine Funk. Uh, Mr. Ma- yeah, that is Machine Funk. The sound of what well, I think a, a machine funking. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's a machine getting down to the funk. Yeah, an 808 basically, which is the funkiest machine out there, I think. But um, so, are you uh, go, uh, on the production side of things, produ- producing? Are you more analog or software based when it comes to um, making your I am magical sound? Kind of either way but uh, a little bit of everything okay so if ideally but sometimes more one more than the other um but um don't really use many soft synths i just use more samples really yeah yeah and and synths so um i try not to use too many soft synths because i don't really like the sound of them um i probably did a few years ago when i first got into computers and um, but after a while, they, they sort of you get a bit bored of them, and um, you start wanting more out of the sound. Yeah, there's um, not enough scope. Yeah, you just want a real. Yeah, you just can't. Well, you know, you just can't get uh, the sound that comes out of a, a, qu- a good quality synth. Is uh, it's got a lot of character and yeah, it sort of cool. just sounds more interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, but I use a lot of samples, and sampling is good for inspiration. Uh, I find gives you giving you more ideas. Yeah, certainly. It was, I was working on something before it came out, um, which was I'm trying to remember what was it. Um, it's based around a sample, but it was just oh yeah. Um, well, it's gonna come back to me. Oh yeah, it was just a. No, oh, well, it was uh, an acapella, but I just just playing around with it, you know, just slowing it down and yeah, getting little yeah. bit breaths and little tongue tongue clicks like this. Yeah, just yeah, sort of okay. Really you know, so yeah, a lot of that really. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just line up the next tune. Since we were talking about that last tune, I should have really credited it. It was uh, Ed DMX. DMX. That, yeah, it's on the mathematics and the Ed DMX and the. Oh, Ed. DMX. Yeah, sorry. And um, well, he also goes under the DMX crew um, as well. So, but um, quite. Yeah. He, as in the D- DMX crew, yeah. Ah. Um, but anyway, he. That track's called 808 Jam. So. And this one is now Damn. is damn funk. Now in the damn funk. And that's Galactic. Galactic City, I think? Yeah. <laughs>
don't they? Yes. It's, it's a fun track. It's, it's a fun end of the set or, <laughs> or beginning of the set, Shackles, so, to announce you're here. But <laughs> yeah, damn funk. Damn. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, my last, my last one. Well, man, it's it has actually got what? Where are we at now? What's the, uh, one, one hour twenty-three? Man. So you got your money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> Money. <laughs> Wines, wines worth. Wines worth. Wine and pizza. Wine and pizza. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's it. So um, thanks for having me. Well, no, thank you for coming along. We're looking forward to this Saturday, man. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be good. Yeah. Well, now knowing that you have got the next day off. Yeah. So you're allowed to. I can show. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not making the uh, the festival, but. Uh, I will um, endeavour to have a good time <laughs> <laughs> on Definitely. Saturday, for sure. So, cheers. Thank you, man. See you later. Take it easy.